Zero Nine James here. Um, I upgraded my my bandsaw. I had ordered these bearings. As you can see, this one here cracked and the bearings fell out. And um, I replaced these with a spacer for the temporary. And as you can tell, they they got worn down. This is for the bandsaw here. I had ordered the uh, five, and the uh, inside diameter they were point. Uh, they were five millimeter, and the outside diameter of the bearing is fifteen millimeter, and the width of it is five millimeter. So I had ordered those. They finally came in. Then I had changed out the screw on here. Uh, these ones. They just barely went in there, just a little ways, and with the, with the tension on there, because uh, when I cut, uh, there's usually some pieces that fall down and get jammed in the blade, and kind of, I think that's why that bearing cracked. I had two that failed on me so far, and the reason why I put added another bearing is, is when the, I'm cutting on this. The, the blade as you can see the blade is halfway across that outer bearing right there so I went ahead and put another bearing on here and also on the top and as you can see way when, when I was cutting it decided, decided to veer off and it cut into my plate here my top cover so when that, when it starts to slide off the the bearing, that's when it made that cut. And I had waited for a while, a couple of weeks, for those bearings to show up. So I went ahead and changed out the the bolt for it. Both of them, they were kind of long, and I had to cut. I had to cut a cut a piece off it flush with the back when I got the bearings in there but um, I did use this spacer the it was a little bit big under here as you can see it didn't really fit right but I had it on there and it was push, it just sat against the side here like that and the blade was pushing down on it this is aluminum spacer and as you can see it, it worn that one down so that's why I've been really use, using the saw so this is the second bearing that's been broken on, on the saw so I ordered these ones these are the I think they're, they're, they're the MRZ Yeah, the 696Z. I thought it was a 2 or... But it was a Z. Sealed bearings. 5mm inner diameter. 15mm outside diameter. And 15 or 5mm width. And as you can see, it does help with the guidance of the blade I hear a little bit better because uh, I just mean to use this standing up on the stand I haven't used it to cut anything but the handheld wise I use it mainly on this without it uh, when I turn it on it, it it come off the bearing and start turning the blade this way this one at least it's keeping the the blade straight and it as it goes it, it it pushes down on the top and the outside bearing and on the and, and the back bearing back there those are the mainly two ones that are turning and same with this one here
that's the little upgrade I did for this saw. It's the Bauer portable band saw. I need to change the blade on this. It's dull. But uh, yeah, um, it's just an extra bearing that I stacked it at both outsides to keep the blade aligned straight. And it does push mainly on the back one here and on the top. So all in all, that's the little upgrade I did on this one. As you can see, this one it's held in there all the way to the back on both of them. So it's more more sturdier with just those little just that little piece of thread hanging in there. So that's a little upgrade I did, but I did order these online and took about three four weeks, about a month. So if you ever just ever starts cutting like that, it's best to put another extra set of bearings on the outer on the outer bolts to keep the blade saw aligned straight so it doesn't start bending start turning the blade on it and falling off because mine started to fall off after a couple cuts so that's that little upgrade i did all right thanks sorry for the mess in here